this is a preview of a blog post I uh, created a few days ago uh, called Basket versus Casket. How and when was Rudolph Valentino's body removed to the Frankie Campbell Funeral Church? Now, like many other places, you can find a picture of the actual clinic at the time. This comes from a postcard, actually, uh, that was made of the clinic um, at the time. And also, of course, the funeral church. There's a picture there of the crowd in front of that. Now, what I did a little more research on was the actual building today. And you can see I've included two photos, one of the... Um, clinic hospital in a lighter earlier in the day most likely fewer shadows and then one a more recent photo actually showing much more shadow a different time of day and the reason I did this was because the there's a discrepancy in the times that are described as being when the body was removed from the hospital um, of course many say that it was um, in the afternoon um, and right after he died, and then, of course, a later source, which many of the sources around don't quote, um, say it was uh, later in the evening. So I go into that a little bit. But going down a little bit more, um, just on the time again, which is really kind of bothersome for me, that this one uh, source that is named in the blog post um, a book, a whole book written on, on Valentino and his mystique, so you can look at the title in the blog post, um, said that it was at 2.40 in the afternoon. And this was quoted from an article in Movie Classics dated June 1973. Well, I found the magazine. I ordered the magazine because the actual citation was, was an indirect source. So I found the magazine, and I found the the source, the indirect source in the magazine, someone had written a letter who claimed to have been a reporter at the time, and there is no mention. Here's the magazine. I just thought I'll show it to you. Here's the magazine, okay? And here's the page where this information comes from. Now, there is no mention of 240 in the text at all. So that's a discrepancy right there, that somebody wrote a book, put a time in there, and there's no time in the actual article at the quoting. So um, that's intriguing to me. Now, I do have more pictures of the um, removal of the body. And again, on the time, you can't really tell. Um, um, some people call it a truck. Some call it a hearse, you know, whatever. But these are pictures of the removal of the body. Now, the other thing that people talk about often is that it came out in a wicker basket. Um, and I quote many of the places where they call it a wicker basket. It's been derived from years of, I guess, information that just keeps repeat, being repeated. So I went down and I looked. And here's, by the way, another picture showing the, the, the actual area as well. This is from the New York Daily News. Now you can see how light that is there. So it could be uh, at 2.40 in the afternoon. However, because of the darkness of the shadows that can happen, and even in the day, they may have had to use a flash. So I'm still not sure about that time, <laughs> especially since it's not even quoted correctly in one of the sources. So as we go on, I did find that they did indeed use wicker baskets. They were called um, wicker corpse ba baskets back in 1882. This is Jesse James wicker corp, corpse basket. And most of the ones I find, by the way, that they're still being made a lot in England, actually, some in Australia, but I give a link to a manufacturer, and most of them are very light colored, tan, you know, light colored. And um, if you look at the pictures I have of the removal of the body, I don't see anything tan. And in fact, the manufacturers today say that if you paint them, you compromise the strength of this basket. Anyway, so back here, I'm going down rather to this next part here, which is the book, Frank Mallon's book, Sauce for the Gander, which was never quoted by some of the top books that were written uh, about Valentino. Um, and yet this book came out earlier, much earlier, in 1954. Now, Frank Mallon, of course, had become the photo editor of the um, New York Evening Graphic, which is known for its composite photographs. 
Um, but he kind of wandered into that position. He was ready to quit. And he was kind of walked down, came down from Albany, wherever he was, into the office, ready to quit. And there was a lot of hubbub. And they said, here, do this. And he did it. So going on, they did these composites, such as the famous one where the operating room and all that. We've seen that all over the place. Now, there's another little interesting twist to this thing. Now, Evelyn Zamaya does mention this uh, clearly, this book. Um, so she's up to date on that. But the one thing that, that I went through here, which I found interesting, was that, um, and I'm not going to the story of this, how it, how it happened, how they got the exclusive of... Um, the photo, supposedly, on the front cover. That's another little aside. But Malin says that it was removed until that evening. So that's where we come up with a discrepancy. Evening versus 2.40 in the afternoon. I even went and researched what evening means. And there's a wide discrepancy what the word evening means, which I go into detail. I'm not going to do it here. You can read about that on the blog post. But anyway, um, one of the things uh, interesting, and it's down in my notes is the pictures. Now, Zamaya quotes this and puts in her book, um, her case files book, a new book, that it shows this picture of Valentino on the cover of the Daily Mirror. But, you know, fine, that was around. But that's not a composite. The composite on the uh, graphic was not that. This is one put on the cover of the Daily Mirror and other places. And what it is actually is a cropped photo of a, one of series of photos that are available in the Bettman archive and the Holton archive of Eva Miller, um, who was supposed to be an avid fan or whatever, um, in mourning for Valentino, as you can see here. But there's several pictures, different poses, different angles. So as you can see, this was cropped, okay, and then put on the cover. It is not the graphic. And what I'm discovering, even in, Gre in Malin's book, is that um, the com cosmographs or composographs or composites he includes don't include the one on the front cover of the paper. Um, there are a couple missing, actually, uh, pertaining to Valentino. So what he has available is what is in the book. Somebody apparently may have had copies, he cites them, but they were unable, they're just not available. So there are missing composites, but for sure, this one is not a composite, okay? It's a cropped version of the photo that you see here that's from the Bettman archives, okay? Now, there's some other interesting asides here that I, I include. One is the actual clinic hospital itself, which was actually noted, uh, called an embarkation hospital in New York City, um, around the time of World War I. They thought that people would come in, recruits would come in and then leave, go to the hospital there and get checked, I guess, and go out. But actually it turned into a debarkation hospital in reality. Uh, they were accepting patients coming in from overseas. And what is interesting is this is a description of the hospital um, that the government wrote up in October of 1918, and it really describes the plant of this hospital. It could feed 800 people, create 800 meals in one kitchen at one time. It was quite a quite a building. So that's a, a little interesting note about the actual hospital. Um, as usual, this is fully sourced. All my sources are here. Um, and um, I hope you come visit this blog and actually take a, look, a good look at it, because there are some interesting photos here. Um, there's plenty for you to compare and contrast. And um, the full details of what happened about the graphic and how they got that composite for the, for, front, for the front page of the paper, which is no longer really available. Um, I did find one copy of the evening graphic from this era that was not a com composite. It was an actual, just a f portrait of Valentino. Um, the availability of the evening graphic at this point is very, very sparse. I mean, some places have partial collections. Even the Library of Congress does not have a complete collection. So uh, they, they're very, I, it's very hard to find anything that actually is definitely a composite that they did of uh, Valentino in the in the um, funeral parlor before everybody else saw that picture. In other words, before a picture was actually taken. So it's very interesting, the role of Campbell and all this. Um, they were involved. So 
you know, the machine was operating before the body was cold. So I hope you enjoy this post. Take a quick look at it. And um, we'll see you again soon. Again, uh, it's called Basket versus Casket. Rather, rather sardonic, maybe not too respectful, but really, with all the stories going around at this point, um, I don't know what's respectful anymore for Valentino. Take care.